Recovering from the ransomware attack on the city of Tulsa back in May is a slow process. Fortunately, the city already had some systems in place to detect it right when it hit. Mayor Gigi Bynum talked exclusively with 2 News senior reporter Sharon Phillips about that fateful call from his IT department and the biggest surprise he's learned from all of this. For Mayor G.T. Bynum, the past few years have been challenging. We're just past two years ago where we were dealing with a historic flood and getting hit by two rounds of tornadoes during that flood. And we've had a global pandemic hit Tulsa, a national recession hit Tulsa. We got hit with a polar vortex uh, this winter and now a cyber attack. That cyber attack hit the city of Tulsa in May and has since wreaked havoc on city systems. This is not some guy sitting in his parents' basement that just happened to hit the jackpot and got through our systems. Mayor Bynum tells 2 News when the city was contacted by the entity that did this, the IT department found its message on the city server along with its malware. And this was very businesslike. I mean, it was, we've compromised your server. We want you contact us on the dark web at this address so that we can negotiate terms for you to pay a ransom. If you don't believe that we've actually hacked your server, here's a link to some images that you can go to and see. Mayor Bynum remembers the day he got that call. It was a Saturday, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, and they gave me a call to let me know, and they in immediately brought in teams from Microsoft and from the FBI uh, to help with the response. Bynum says the cyber attackers commonly target the weekend. What they like to do is they wait until uh, people have gone home for the weekend and then they initiate the attack when people won't be at their computers and notice it happening. The city says it had systems in place to detect this type of cyber attack and a warning went off alerting the IT teams about what had happened and they immediately began shutting everything down. It even you know, deleted stuff off my calendar so I missed meetings I didn't know about. The ransomware attack also had a major impact on certain city services and Tulsa citizens wanting to get police reports, pay utility bills, or have utilities connected like Jenny Voss. She and her partner <laughs> recently moved from South Tulsa to Midtown. I called the city of Tulsa a few days before we were moving and just let them know we were moving and the date and everything and she told me their systems were down um, but that she'd have to put it in manually. Moving day arrived and they discovered they had no water at the new house. So when we moved in, water's kind of a necessity, you know, we couldn't clean the house or do anything. That's when they took matters into their own hands, found the water key and figured out how to turn the water on themselves. I was so confused when we didn't have water. I thought, man, I called them. I know I talked to them. And then I heard about that. So I'm sure that, you know, is what affected it. Mayor Bynum says the city IT teams are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week at times, trying to get all of its systems back up and running, but can't say when it will all be complete. We get hit with about 60,000 attempts to hack our servers every day. Uh, and so having strong systems in place is so important to prevent those, those attempted hacks. And this hack attack isn't isolated. Bynum says they know who is responsible for the ransomware attack, but the Department of Justice has asked them not to talk about it because of its ongoing investigation. We've learned that so far the city has spent just over $300,000 on its response, most of it on personnel and vendor costs. And if Bynum agreed to pay the ransom, he says it would have been much higher, but won't say how much. It's been just such a mess. So when do they hope to have all the systems back up and running again? Well, when I spoke to the mayor, he says they are hoping to get everything up and running by September. So that's kind of their target months right around the corner. Now, what's the one thing that the mayor says that he's really learned from all this? The biggest thing that the mayor says that he's learned from all of this is that he's now having his city staff shut their computers off completely before leaving for the weekend because he says oftentimes hackers will specifically target companies on the weekend because no one's there monitoring the computer system. Sounds like something we should all probably do. Probably so. All right, so many of us are concerned that maybe our information was leaked onto the dark web. What do you advise? Well, um, the mayor says that what they are having everyone do, they have a lookup tool on their website now that you can go to to see if any of your information was leaked. And so just go to the city of Tulsa's website and you can check out everything there. All right, Sharon, thanks so much for your report. Thank you.